This is Michelle from Healthier Steps. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. It's sunny outside and in here it's just right. Guess what? Today I have for you something very, very, very special. It's my strawberry banana bread. It is one of my favorite recipes and also one of my readers' favorite recipes. It is vegan and it's gluten-free, but somehow my readers have said that it used regular all-purpose flour and it comes out just fine. That makes it extra popular. So today, before I dive in, I'm going to share with you the flour that I am going to use today. It's Krusty's gluten-free all-purpose flour. Unfortunately, not all gluten-free all-purpose flour blends that you find at the store works the same. Because obviously, they, each manufacturer, uses their own secret blend. And so they're not all the same proportion, not all the same flour. For instance, one might use rice flour, and another might use quinoa flour, or they might use combinations. And starches are different. So, guys, you have to use the flour that I use. On my website, I have another flour that also works. I mentioned, but this now, this one is my favorite. So, it's best to sometimes use the one-to-one -one blend, but still be cautious. So, guys, let's get started. I'm gonna show you. I use my strawberries, my beautiful strawberries, as you can see. I got organic strawberries and now it's strawberry season for a lot of people so um, depending on where you are you can get fresh juicy sweet ripe strawberries and what I did was as you can see I hold them and chop them up and this is about a cup and a half of my strawberries and what I'm using is I'm using almond milk and you can use whatever non-dairy milk, whether it's oat milk, soy milk, whatever your preference, it will work. And I'm using, as my binder, I'm using ground flax milk. You can ground it yourself or you can purchase it already ground it. So you just blend it in a high speed blender. And you can, but remember, just keep it in the re refrigerator because the oils are more volatile and unstable so they it will go rice and very fast. So I usually keep my you know refrigerator. And for the oil I'm using coconut oil that's been melted. Make sure you melt the coconut oil first. That's the way I experimented with the recipe. And so you want to melt the coconut oil first. You can also use whatever you want, oil you want. You can substitute with avocado oil, grapeseed oil, or any flavor oil if you don't like the taste of coconut. I'm using vanilla, my salt I like to use, sea salt, and baking powder and I like to use non aluminum baking powder. So whatever is on the market and can't leave out my bananas guys. This is how I like my bananas from my from any of my banana bread. Anyway Anywhere where, where the spots are, it needs to have the spots so it's fully ripened and there's more sugar in the banana. It will make your bread taste sweeter. And what I'm going to do first is because I want my flax seed to go in the liquid, I'm going to go ahead and add my flax seed with my liquid ingredients. So I'm going to add, pour in my milk. You can 
need to add the salt to your flour. I mix them separately, but I'm gonna add, add it right here, and I'm gonna add right here now. I'm gonna add my ground flax seed. So let it, because it gets thicker, it gets its mucilage large enough, so it's going to get thicker as, as it sits in liquid. So, and it forms, it works as a binder. So it is an egg replacer, and I love to use that. In